I'm out here in the shop. Uh, I got another item sent to me from a company called Vivor or Vever. Vever, I don't know. Whatever that is. Uh, but this is a two way, 12 volt DC powered hydraulic power pack. So it's taken me just a little bit to get around to trying this out. Um, I've got some hoses made and I got the disc on the 930. I'm gonna use that for my test. I'm gonna see if it'll pick that disc up and let it down. Um, anyway, I got some hoses set up here with some quick connects for that. Uh, I've got a battery for my, this is actually for my, uh, my new water truck. But I'm gonna use it to power this just for the test. This would be pretty nice on, uh, I think for taking with me in a pickup if I needed to pick up a piece of equipment like this disc or another piece of equipment, use the remote or the uh, electric solenoid. So let me get it hooked up. I got to fill it up with oil and then we'll get, we'll test it out so here. This is the book. This is what the specs are on this uh, pump they sent me. Uh, it's all metric. I'm a little vague on my MIR, whatever that is. Um, <laughs> but anyway, we'll see how it works. I think this is from one gallon to about three gallons on your reservoir capacity, which is, it's a steel tank, uh, decent looking motor. It's got the valves, decent switch. Switch is magnetic, so you can, it won't get away from you. It came with a holster for the switch. Anyway, let's get it full of oil and we'll see what happens here. I'm, I'm gonna put about a gallon, maybe a gallon and a half in it. And then we get bothered by Miss Roxy. Yes, her has to come and see me and lay down and want her belly scratched. Yeah. So we're working on getting oil in it, but we got a, we got other things to do right now. Important stuff, right? Okay, so one thing I wanted to mention, um, I probably should have did this before I put oil in it, but uh, Roxy's still helping here. She's holding my grease rag down. Yeah, with both feet. Yeah, goodness. Okay, uh, these are metric thread on this end, and this is what it had in it when I when it came, they did send these, uh, I think it's the JIC number six or eight, I can't remember, but they did send these with it. So we've got the right fittings to hook up to my hoses. And I got a little rubber ring in there. Pretty simple setup, there's one on each side. And this tank holds more than a couple gallons. I may have to get, let's see here. Yeah, we're tight there. I may have to get a little bit more oil to put in it. Anyway, these are the hoses I made up. I uh, just had a, this is a Pioneer Quick Connect. That way I've got a, I wanted a way to test it without, you know, this this power unit could be used for a lot of different things. And um, I've not really found where it's gonna end up probably permanently. Um, lots of ideas come to mind when you come up with a hydraulic power pack. Now we got the ball, oh boy. Anyway, so now I just got to hook up the battery terminals. Um, one thing I did notice on this, these aren't very, these aren't sealed. Um, I think they could have did a little bit better job uh, if they would have used the right size cable there. I think that would have been better. Uh, I'm sure silicone could probably be used to fill that in. Um, but the way you hook it up, you've got a power 
a positive, you got a positive terminal here, you've got a negative terminal here. So I'll put those to my battery and then we'll give her a try here. Just okay, so I've got my hoses hooked to my disc. I'm not sure what direction I'm going here because I don't know the flow on this. So. Well, she lifts pretty quick. That could be a problem. <laughs> so she'll lift. And that was actually up. Okay, so. Let me try something here. I think the, the deal is it doesn't hold pressure in the down position, but it does hold in the up. Let me swap hoses and we'll see if that's true. Okay, so I swapped hoses. And it holds in the up position. So the up line would be this one here. That one goes, wait. Yeah. That's this line that goes into this side of the cylinder. So it's holding full pressure up in that direction. Um, like I say, it won't hold in the down position. actually let the motor reverse if you got too much pressure which is not a deal breaker unless you need something to hold both directions um, I'm not sure if it's just made that way or if it's kind of weird if you let off it okay that's the up That's pretty quick, actually. It uh, has pretty good speed for a little pump. So a person could probably use this on a dump trailer. Um, I guess you could use it on a... <laughs> I was thinking maybe an auto crane or something like that, you know, or the... Need some power to go hydraulic, lift something up. Anyway, a 12 volt supply and it works. Um, I can't say how long it will last or anything like that. Um, I like the switch. The cable on the switch is pretty good. Seems to be pretty decent cable. Not real loud. I suppose I should time that um, cylinder. I believe that's a three inch bore. I should probably time it and we'll see how fast it runs it. So, uh, anyway, let me let me set up a timer and I'll see how long it takes. So 8.45 seconds or eight minutes or yeah, 8.45 seconds to lift a uh, Eight minutes would be a long time. This is a three inch by eight inch stroke cylinder. Um, I'll have to do some calculating to figure out the volume there. But you can see it's holding it in the up position. Um, and this is not a big, big load, but with a three inch cylinder, it's a, it has a little more, like if you had a three and a half or a four inch cylinder, there's no pressure required 
at all, but it would move slower. So I think that's not bad. Um, we might have some uses for this. Uh, we'll I wanted see. to show you also, it does have a dipstick. Um, it's got a low and high mark on it. I don't have quite enough oil in it, but it's working. Um, the, the little brochure or the owner's manual, whatever you want to call it, is a little bit vague on a few things. Um, but it, it kind of shows, it tells you to put, thir to put oil in it until it gets up to the mark. Um, it's got some troubleshooting. It does have little lights on the... So it does have lights on there. That's kind of neat because if it quits working and the light's not coming on, you know you're not getting power to it, um, which could be your switch um, if you if it didn't work. So that's kind of cool. Um, I didn't put a I didn't put a breaker or anything in this. I don't know if that would be something. Um, I'm not sure they say how many amps this pulls. I don't have a DC ammeter, so it shows that it's 1.6 kilowatts. And I'm in horsepower around here, so I don't know. I don't know what kilowatts are. Um, I'm sure you can calculate that out and figure out how many amps. If the person wanted to put a circuit breaker or something like that on it, it might not be a bad idea, especially if you're running long cables. You don't want to short it out. But anyway, they sell these on Amazon, I believe. Um, I'll put a link in the description or somewhere down there. Um, let you know where you can find one. I uh, can't remember the exact price on this, so don't. I'm not even going to say, um, but I am very thankful they sent me this. That's a very nice, um, yeah, <laughs> I guess you, being a YouTuber pays off sometimes. Um, but anyway, they, they sent it to me. They wanted me to do a video about it, so I told them I would. Uh, like I say, time will tell if it's a long-lasting pump. Um, I think it has mounting bolts on the pump body itself. Uh, the tank itself doesn't have any, it does have a drain plug, which is kind of nice, so you don't have to dump it over. Um, they didn't put any um, mounting brackets on this end, which I think you might want, if, if a person's going to use this in a truck or something like that, you might want to put a mounting tab on each corner here. Also, you could bolt up your motor from the bottom. Um, just to keep everything from moving around it it probably worked fine just like it is it's a it's a fairly sturdy tank i don't think it's gonna um well you know it's it's light gauge material but it's welded tank some of these i see are plastic um anyway i like the idea of a steel tank they don't get broke as easy and they don't uh deteriorate although they do condensate so there are advantages to plastic tanks, I guess. Anyway, that's my review on the Vivor 12 volt DC hydraulic power pack. I guess that's what it's called. Anyway, there you go. One of the things just I would do different if I was hooking this up again is I would use a, a 90 degree hose fitting or I may be able to buy some a 90 degree fitting that I can swivel on just to get the hoses in line with the pump. I think it would work out a lot better. These are gonna probably get um, beat up, knocked around, uh, probably broke. So and I don't wanna break the fittings off because those might be hard to find. Um, anyway, so that's just a, if you if you were buying one and I was doing it again, I would get these fittings in a 90. That way everything is in line. But other than that, I think I like this pump. It's uh, it's warmed up just a little bit from 
running, but it's not by any means hot. Seems to have a pretty good heat sink on the motor. Um, anyway, like I say, the only thing, the only side, the, the thing I don't like is this connector here. Um, this could have been done a little bit better. And it's a very short wire. Person could fix that pretty simply. Um, like I say, all it needs is a, a bigger wire to fit this connector. Um, this connector, I think it should have like a, a rubber grommet or something in there. Silicone would probably fix that. I don't think it'd be an issue. Anyway, that's all I got. Well, just in case you hadn't seen my 930 start or haven't seen my 930, this is the one that had ants living in it. Um, 